this class i have discussed the session part 2 where we have drawn the diagram of human excretory system that is the urinary system how does it work that was explained but every time doing that kind of diagram will may not be possible so today i will just let you know how to draw the human excretory system diagram very easily uh it will take very less time hardly 1 minute all of while we will discuss about the structural function in it of kidneys that is the nephrons so let us first learn how to draw the diagram of human excretory system and the labeling of it very simple just to draw the two bean shaped structures like these two which will represent the two pts and arise from here the pipeline that is the ureters which will open up into urinary bladder and then will be the ureter so after that we can label it very easily that is to our kidneys a pair of ureters then urinary bladder and ureter how it is it is you can very well understand so whatever we have drawn that was including the blood vessels at all but when we talk about the system that may not be required over there so just you can whenever you are being asked to do the examination and all you can draw like this simply the two pts arising from them the a pair of ureters from which that is the pipeline which carry the filtrate final filtrate into the urinary bladder where it is being collected and when once it is being filled up then it is being removed from the ureter so after this <coughs> today we will be learning about the structure and the function of nephrons so just i will be drawing a diagram of the form and after which i will just explain how the it work remember each kidney consists of millions of nephrons and thereby and all the filtration work that is taking place 
into the nephrons, they are going to be known as the structural and functional units of kidneys. Now this is the very simplified structure of nephron where this is the bunch of blood capillaries what is known as glomerulus which is located in a drop like structure called Bowman's capsule. Now, 
blood enters through this and through the capillaries the blood comes out into these blood type vessels now what happens due to the less passage over here the pressure inside that is increases you must have seen that if you want to make the water to fall far away from a pipe what we do we just reduce the orifice the output orifice we reduce it by putting our thumb over there and thereby the inside pressure increases and the water falls far away the same process work over here here passage is more here passage is less obviously the total pressure inside that increases and due to that pressure the substances which are to be removed from the blood other than the blood corpuscles they just get filtered over here what we know as ultra filtration that is filtration under pressure so this filtrate that contains as it was explained over there earlier also that here this is marked the filtrate contains urea dissolved in water then hormones minerals glucose remember this glucose minerals water they are also the essential part of our blood that must be there in that blood but here in the filtration everything that gets filtered out other than the blood corpuscles and if you water remains over there there are the in circling these coils of the blood vessel the substances what are required into the blood they are getting reabsorbed so this water whatever quantity is required then the minerals whatever it is required and the glucose that is required they are being reabsorbed into the blood vessel and they are after they are put into the normal blood blood stream so here ultimately what we find that is the urea excess of water Hormones which have already been used up, so those are being removed away in the form of urine. So total filtrate is nearly twenty liters, and the finally output from each kit total by I mean combined kidneys that is total urine that is from one point five liters to. Two liters per day. So it means we are taking but five liters that has been filtered out over here. They are getting reabsorbed. Okay. So now the remaining filtrate after reabsorption that pass into the this collecting tissue. So this filtrate after reabsorption come into the This collecting tissue. This collecting tissue you must be finding here. We are also part of openings are there. So other nephrons remain attached to these collecting tissues, and from each nephron, the filter filtrate coming into the collecting tissue, and this collecting tissue ultimately opens up into the ureter, where from they travel into the urinary bladder, and that is being removed. So. this way the entire filtration that is ultra filtration that is taking place and there after they are being removed remember these substances which are being removed and that is only possible when the nephrons 
and the field is as a whole that is working properly. Now you must have heard about lot of people with the kidney failure, malfunctioning of the kidneys due to the various reasons, maybe the infection, maybe the accidental and maybe some other cause as well. So in those cases, this filtration will not take place properly and the urine that will get accumulated into the body and that will cause the edema that is the swelling of the body. So the blood urea contained when it is being tested in the labs and from where we can understand whether the kidneys are functioning well or not. So regarding malfunctioning of the kidneys, how it is being detected and what are the other ways by which we can make the people survive in spite of the kidney failure, we will discuss in our next class. But here I would like to add up few more things that the on what substances or the factors does the total urine output depend. Remember, urine output depends on the excretory material like urea as well as the water. You must have felt in the summer season when you first part go, that is a lot of sweating is there. So a lot of water you lost through your skin. In those cases, the output of urine becomes less. Obviously, whatever in normal days, the water that is being excreted out, that is becoming less if it is being excreted out through the urine because a lot of water is being removed from the body through the skin. So naturally, that whatever water is required back, that is getting reabsorbed over here. So that's why the total output of urine becomes less over there and the color of urine also becomes little darker because of the high concentration of the acidity materials. So that's why in the summer season we need to have more and more water. We don't get ourselves dehydrated so that the severe problem, problem of the kidney that also may occur in the long run. Similarly, in the winter season when there is no perspiration, very less amount of water is being lost through the skin. In those days, we are taking water in the normal course. So, the excess of water that has to come out from the body. So, naturally, in the winters, the amount of urine that will increase. And even though it may exceed to 2 liters. Also, in the people, See, sir, that is suffering from high diabetic patients. The excess glucose into the blood is also getting removed through the urine. And in those cases, the, the frequency of urine also increases. That they urinate again and again in just in order to get rid of this glucose. So, in those cases, that is the diabetic patients, the urine is being tested for glucose by ferric solutions and or the bedic solution and thereby they are being given the treatments and all. So these are some additional informations about the home and excretory system. So in the next class, we shall be discussing about the kidney failure, its consequences and its corrective measures. Thank you for today.